Hi and welcome to another Wednesday with Vilna and today we're going to make um, this page which is again I feel like I say it every single week quite simple but I want to introduce you to two new awesome designers that agreed to design some cut files for iHeartStudio.ca. This set is a calligraphy inspired titles handwritten by Jen Kincaid and I just fell in love with it and I actually wanted to release it next week but I couldn't wait to use it. So you can find this set on iHeartStudio.ca for $1.99 and then in Kim Stewart, amazing designer, she made these beautiful cut files. For me, she actually designs them and cut them out by hand. So I said to her, let's make some cut files out of these. So there are three sets available on iHeart Studio um, at $1.99 each. And then, but then you can buy a bundle for a dollar cheaper. So then you can buy all of them for cheaper. And there's actually three by four cards as well. So just go and have a look um, on iHeartStudio.ca. And thank you for um, supporting my little shop. I try to keep it little, uh, small and beautiful. So obviously for this week's page, I want to use this, these beautiful cuts. And I felt like a mosquito in a nudist camp. I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know where to start. Because I literally wanted to use every single cut file on my page. So this is the photo I'm going to scrapbook and if it feels like I'm scrapbooking the same pictures over and over again it's because I am. I wanted to print new ones but I had to order a print for my printer so I'm just using what I have. So I love this background paper by Studio Calico and I've been wanting to use it for the longest time and I think with this page I felt it will work and it did perfectly. So I'm using the rose and the rose leaves by uh, Kim Stewart and then the beautiful title by Jen and I'm going to um, just play with it. I did not plan this page out before I started. I just decided to really go with the flow and see where it takes me. So the gold stickers is by the Camelot kit um, by Studio Calico. I had still uh, had some left over and then I decided to make a little cluster of the gold rub-ons. So I'm just using um, a craft stick and just rubbing them down. And what I love about these specific rub-ons, they are amazing with uh, the textured cardstock usually I feel that you have to rub them on the smooth side but I actually use them on the rough side so it's lovely and my idea was to paint over these as well to see how it works I love painting over rub-ons and I have a lot of videos that I do that so it's not going to be the main part of this page but I want to I'm going to that's the plan also um, I saw a beautiful page by Danielle Flanders if you want to go and visit her just google her name Danielle Flanders with an F and a beautiful page where she it looked like she painted on her page with gray paint but actually she used gray cardstock and she painted with white acrylic on it and I love the painterly look that that page had and that was the thinking with this page is to layer the die cuts with um, just the paint and the background and have a little bit of pattern paper showing on the side and now you can see I'm just debating where should I put all the elements but in the end it worked out lovely. I love this page. So 
So the first thing I wanted to do was just take some acrylic paint and out of the tube I just painted it over. Later I realized that I used the wrong color. This one is a untreated titanium uh, white. I know it's not white at all but it's unbleached or untainted or untinted or something. And it was way too orangey or too fleshly colored for me so I did cover it later on with the right color parchment is the right color I love to use Liquitex heavy um, acrylic paint it's by far my favorite favorite acrylic paint to use while the paint is drying I decided to paint the roses because they're just big to be painted and I decided to experiment because I did not plan this page out I didn't play beforehand I'm going to do two, one with acrylic paint and one with um, um, watercolor paint to see which one works the best. So there's the acrylic paint and I'm just painting over it with um, green. And you can see I'm trying to leave a little bit of a texture with it. You can also use these cutouts as stencils, which is lovely it's beautiful and um, anyway so it was at this stage when I painted the green that I really knew that the the watercolors will work way better than the acrylic paint so I'm mixing the colors a little on my palette you can see I'm adding a little orange to that pink and I'm just adding water and just dabbing it on the sides I want to give it a tri color like a little darker at the ends and it painted fantastically. Um, what I mean is the cut. The cut works with the beautiful watercolor paints. And there you can see how pretty it looks. Also, I, I cut these out of watercolor paper. If you watch my videos regularly, you'll know by now that I do watercolor paper cuts, uh, Canson watercolor paper. I have the link in the related products. Um, and I do a double cut and I set my machine at really slow so um, I think like two and then and then I click the double cut tick box and let me tell you it does make a big difference right and then I discovered the real color I actually wanted to use it's called parchment and it's one of my favorite acrylic paint colors. Um, it's one of those colors that it's not quite gray, it's not quite beige. It's just a Goldilocks color. It's just right. So I am um, just covering the dry color um, with it and immediately you can see the difference that it makes. I think a, a light gray, actual gray will also be beautiful um, on this color. And, and again, as a background, it just makes that pink pop a little. And I think it's a beautiful neutral background to anything colorful that you want to add. I love that background paper, like I said, by Studio Calico. And I think the reason why um, I like it is because of the different colors and textures and patterns. And I think a little bit of it on a page is just perfect. So now I'm painting the, the leaves and I'm using two colors. But before I'm going to add the darker green, I'm just going to dry it first with my super tool. And the reason for that is because I don't want the colors to mix. I just want to add the darker green in little bits here and there. It has to look very... Uh, watercolorish, very um, subtle. And then the pointy tool works wonderful here just by keeping it down because sometimes when you dry it, it wants to blow away. So just to keep it down. And I like the, th the fact that there are some white parts on that leaves on the leaves it just really gives it a watercolor feel 
very whimsical. I really cannot thank him enough for these beautiful, beautiful cuts. I just absolutely love it. I chose a black and white photo, as I often do when I work in colorful patches, because um, it just tones things down and I didn't have a very big selection of photos to choose from. I think if I had my way, there was a specific photograph that I wanted to use for this page, but I couldn't print it. So I'm just going to do it next week. You can see on the roses, um, the green that I added on the roses, just how big a difference it makes, just that touch of green. So that's the thing with watercolor. You can add a little and add more and more. You don't have to do everything at once. So that that's my thinking. So now I'm adding a little bit of blue because I want to add that beautiful blue of the Studio Calico page into this page and at first I thought maybe I'll have to dab it a little because I don't want it too bright but when it dried and that's why I love to use rub-ons and paint the the rub-on acted as a resist so the paint went away and that's really lovely so um, I'm just drying it quickly and I love the way that it dried and now I'm dabbing it just to make sure that it's 100% dry because I don't want any of that on my photograph. So the next thing I want to do is just straighten out the acrylic paint page because it did wobble a little. So I'm just doing it with a double sided tape. Then I'm going to tape it down to an old piece of cardstock. This is a wonderful way to get rid of old stash that you really want to, um, you don't want to throw it away, but you know you're not going to use it. So I'm just laying down lots of tape and then start from one side and just press it down. And I, I like to use a paper towel because I didn't know if all the paint would dry. And it didn't straighten out perfectly, but it's perfect for me. So... There you go and now we're going to layer our page and decide how we're going to do it and I want the color on one side and you'll see my process was let's see if it should be centered or whatever and then I just eyeballed it cut it roughly 12 by 12 and I've had a lot of experience with my craft knife and I hope I never ever injure myself and I hope you don't injure yourself. I'm cutting my photograph a little bit smaller just because I want some of the white to show behind it. And I must admit it does look dangerous when you watch it on a video but it doesn't feel as dangerous when I do it um, when I actually do it I'm going to adhere the photo with white photo corners I love doing that lately and I've been doing it for probably a year and I think maybe it's because that way you can remove the picture if you want to um, do ink splatters or something but not that I do I just cover the photo but I don't know it's a nice way to add a photograph it adds a little bit of a interesting di um, detail to a page so now I'm trying to figure out where to put the flower and I think that's where I found the those black stickers are from a kit that I purchased of Studio Calico, a last, I think a last cool kit. Um, and this is basically how my page is going to look. Okay, now I just want to tell you this. I discovered these 
this little company called Pink Fresh Studio and they make these adorable little wood veneers and letters that's glittery and glam and the wood veneers as you can see lying on my desk it looks like they've been painted with enamel paint in the most loveliest of colors so I decided to um, add those to my page as well you should visit them on um, Pink Fresh Studio just google it Pink Fresh Studio and you will find all the beautiful products they have all kinds of things on there it's really small and so beautiful so I'm using the blush and gold uh, letters Yana and then I'm using those little um, what do you call it I don't know like arrows and I just want to add a touch of um, dimension or detail to the page and I felt that the colors were perfect for this page so I'm using my hot glue gun just to add those and I'm going to use the hot glue gun to add my title as well So I'm adding a little bit of hot glue to one part of the letter and then I'm just positioning it. And you can see on the page already how the, the empty space um, calms the page. It really brings some, I don't know, that, uh, that's the best way I can think of to describe it is just to calm the page with that beautiful gray gray brown background and then leaving the fabulous title white and I'm adding hot glue to the back just little dots here and there and I'm letting them dry for a second before I'm going to put them down and that way the title is almost like you used pop dots on the back so I'm just putting it down very carefully because I want a little bit of dimension on there. And now I'm just going to adhere everything together. You see now I'm thinking maybe I should center it and I'm, eh, I don't think so. I just want it on one side. And this is really where I use double-sided tape the most, is for the backgrounds. And there you go. I'm almost done. I'm just going to distress the edges a little bit and add my journaling. And I love it. I just love it. And I hope uh, you like it too. I'm journaling with a Sharpie pen. And the pen... I tested it you'll see on a, a piece of uh, the because I just wanted to make sure it doesn't smear so there you go I wrote my heart out on the page for her and I'm just gonna use a little bit of watercolor make the heart red and there you go all done I love that gold splash the beautiful cuts and um, I'm so happy. This page really made me very happy. Thank you so much for watching another Wednesday with Vilna video. And I will see you next week again with um, something that I hope that you will love. Bye.